Hey guys, today we're going to read you a story called The Diggiest Dog, narrated by Al Perkins, illustrated and narrated by Eric Gardney. Okay? Okay, hang on. You hold this. And I'll take this. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Linda. And here's the dingiest dog, and the dog were worried and cross and angry. Okay. <clears throat> I was the saddest dog you could ever see. Sad because no one wanted me. The pet shop window was my jail. The sign... Behind me said for sale. This poor dog is sad. Yeah. I tried. I was tied to a bare hard floor of stone. I could not even dig for a bone. I was living all of my life alone. A dog that no one wanted to own. Aww. And then one day at half past four, Sammy Brown came in the door. Sam took one look at me and cried. Why are you tied up here inside? I've always wanted a dog like you. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll take you out to the farm with me. You'll play outdoors where you should be. I felt as happy as a pup when Sam paid the man and picked me up. He rubbed my ears. He scratched my head. I think I'll call you Duke, he said. Sam gave me a, a collar. He gave me a lead. Don't do that. I'm Sorry. On. Sorry. Lead. We left that shop a try. At tremendous speed. Tremendous speed. We went a long way out of town. We came to the farm of Sammy Brown. I was the nicest. It was. It was the nicest place I ever seen. A pretty white house in the field of green and in the shade of the apple tree, a special dog house just for me. Oh, look how happy he is. The next morning, while Sam did his chores, he let me run and play. Outdoors. outdoors I never played outdoors before I'd always lived on that hard floor I never run on nice soft ground now I barked with joy as I ran around Sam looked at me and scratched his head Duke you need some friends, he said. He blew his whistle, he blew at blast, and many dogs came running fast. I never met a dog before. Now I was meeting six or more. They walked around and looked at me. They looked me over carefully. Then at last I heard them say, He's one of us. He'll be okay. One dog who wasn't very big suddenly began to dig. The others started digging too. But, not, but that was something I could not do. I never learned to dig in that store. How could I? On that hard stone floor, 
Look, he hit himself. Oh, he doesn't know how to dig because he was always in the pet shop. I tried to dig, but alas, I couldn't. I wiggled my paws. My paws just wouldn't. I fell on my ear. I fell on my face. I fell on myself all over the place. <laughs> The others said, Duke may be big, but he's no good. He cannot dig. Aww. They stuck their noses in the air. They walked away. They left me alone. They there. left me there. Oh, that's not very nice. The dogs were mean to do. Yes, they're not very good friends. I'll teach you, Duke, cried Sammy Brown. I'll show you how to dig deep down. He crouched beside me with his hand. He dug a hole in the pile of sand. I'll try it too, but I still I couldn't. I wiggled my paws. My paws just wouldn't. I never learned to dig in that store. How could I on that hard stone floor? See, Poor he, Duke. he can't dig. But he learns, right? He keeps trying. Because, and Sammy Brown tries too. He's trying to show him how. And he said, I'll, I'll try, Duke. He's a nice boy. But he, but he refused. Read. Sammy sighed. I almost cried. My eyes and nose were full of dirt. My paws and claws and elbows hurt. I had a pain across my back. I knew I never, never get, get the, the neck. neck. See, Duke is crying Aww. and he's not feeling very hopeful. Sam felt sad and I felt bad. If only I could make him glad. We both knew I never get it right. Sam and I couldn't sleep that night. Neither of them can sleep. Right. So when the sun rose in the sky, I thought I'd give it one more try. I wiggled my paw. I wiggled. I saw, I saw I, I could. could. It, I wiggled the other. I saw it would. I could dig with my paws. I could dig with my claws. I felt no pain across my back. Oops. I knew at last, I had the knack. Yay! Sammy Brown looked at me. He saw me digging happily. Good for you, Duke. Sammy cried. I knew you'd do it if you tried. So I dug farther. I dug faster. I dug and dug to please my master. Aww. She was furious. <laughs> I dug up grass, I dug up weeds, I dug up daisies, I dug up seeds, I dug up the fence, I dug up the gates, I dug up the garden of Mrs. White. Thwaites. And Mrs. Thwaites was cross. Hey, get out of here! This is my yard! <laughs> She's not very happy. I dug up the rooster, I dug up the hands, I dug up the sheep. And pigs in their pens. And he Whoops. said, Whoa, whoa, get out of here, doggy. You're She's digging too angry. much. Yes. I dug and dug. I couldn't stop. I dug up the barber in his shop. I dug up Mr. Rodney Thayer sitting in the barber's chair. Hey, we're flying in the air. Okay. I dug up my ride through the no, town. No, no, start over. I dug my way right through town. I dug up a lot of buildings down. I was having so much fun. I dug up Highway 81. I came to a hill I never... Ma, I, slow down. I dug to the top, but all of a sudden I had to stop. Right in front of me, looking down, there stood my master, Sammy Brown. Sam didn't smile or pat my head he only glared at me and said i'm sending you back to the animal store and they'll tie you to that hard stone floor 
and you'll never, never dig anymore. And he was mad. And He's so, very mad. And the dogs were cross. Mm -hmm. I couldn't run. I couldn't hide. Dogs came at me from every side. And then suddenly I knew there was just one thing for me to do. Okay, when you make a mistake, you have to fix it, right? Right. Okay. I ran away from Sammy Brown. I dug a hole that went straight down. Uh oh I felt... I left. I left him standing up on top. I dug and dug. I didn't stop. See, he's Why did fall. he dig so deep? Because he's scared of the dogs. He's trying to get away from them. Yeah. How deep I dug, I could not tell. But soon I found a dug a well. Uh-oh. Mud and water up to a, my chin. What a fix. I now was, was in. in. I started to sing. I started to yelp. Help, I yelped. Help, 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 help. I could hear them way above my head. I could hear every word they said. Stop doing that, please. One dog growled. He wrecked our town. They were grrr. Yeah. They serves him right. This, Just, read the words carefully. This, this serves, serves him, him right. right. Just let him drown. But Sam cried, Duke, you've been bad. You've made me sad instead of glad. But we're not going to let you die. We'll get you out. At least we'll try. Then I, then at last, I heard him shout, Maybe we can pull you out. See, the dogs are going to help him. And he told him, get Duke out of here. Slowly, slowly down they came. Each dog part a long dog chain. I reached up. I touched a nose. I felt them lift me by my toes. Slowly, slowly, bit by bit, they dragged me up out of the pit. I thanked the dogs and Sammy Brown, and then I start back toward town. I knew I had to dig once more to fix things up as they were before. Right. Stop right there. It's not enough to just say you're sorry. You have to fix it, right? Right. Right. Because sorry won't work until you fix your problem. Right. That's what I did. I dug back gates. I dug back the garden of Mrs. Thwaites. I dug back the roosters and the hens. I dug back all the pigs and their pens. I dug all day in the summer sun. I dug back Highway 81. I dug back every everything in town. Everything that I knock down. Today, when I dig well, I'm careful now. I'm useful too. Sam lets me plow. He'll never send me to that store or tie me up on the hard stone floor. My dog friends watched and wonder why they can't dig as well as I. The end. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>